All the students are requested to occupy their seat and kindly switch off your mobile or put in silent mode. Good morning to one and all present in this beautiful morning. I, Dr. Amita Patel, welcome you all on behalf of GSET, respected principal sir, Arti Vaishnav, CEO of Exat, and esteemed speaker of this lecture series, head of various departments, faculty members, and my dear students. Once again, I welcome you all in this lecture series, which is Introduction to Strategy for Engineers. Now, we'll begin our, uh, this series with prayer. So now I would like to tell every one of you to join in the prayer. Ya kunde indu tushar har tavla Ya shubra vas pravruta Ya vira var dand mandit kara Ya shwet pat masana Ya brahma chut shankara prabhu tibhi Devai sada vandita Samam patu sarasvati bhagavati Nishesh jadhyā paha Now, I would like to call Dr. Vipur Shah, head of ASH department, to address the gathering and say a few words about this lecture series, sir. Good morning. Principal sir, Arti, accepting heads of the department and dear student <coughs> friends. On, on behalf of the GSEC family, I would like to express our sincere appreciation for the willingness to spare the valuable time and deliver a lecture on introduction to strategy for engineers. In fact, this was initiated by Arti also. Um, 75 students have registered mm -hmm. and uh, we hope that slowly up at the end means uh, the lecture, 9 to 10 lecture may be there and then some students will join. Um, it was earlier planned for four days, uh, but then because of that, uh, we felt that 22nd <coughs> might be the holiday and it was, so now it is uh, from 23rd to 25, but then the timings will remain same in the sense that uh, uh, it was earlier from 11 to 1, but now it is from 10 to 1. So <coughs> about lecture, Arti will definitely say, so about that, I am not going to say anything. But about to the students, in fact, uh, I would like to say a few words about Arati. That uh, she is uh, an illustrious alumnus of the college. And since beginning of her uh, company at Z, she used to visit India quite often. Almost all the times, she used to visit G settles. She not only pays a visit, but also offers scholarship. You know that uh, about the scholarship and many awards uh, that uh, uh, by way of our uh, uh, notices. She not only pays visit, but also offers the scholarship and in, so in, a, in the tune of 25 lakhs rupees. So EXIT used to offer our internships to our students and even uh, placement was also there. So, and with the handsome package. So in one line, I would say uh, about her, a royal nature. A royal nature who want to only give, give, and give. Thank you.
thank you sir for introducing our speaker today now i would like to uh, we would like to felicitate our guests with flowers and memento hence i request our beloved principal sir to felicitate and offer a uh, memento to our esteemed speaker now the most awaited moment for us to listen and learn strategy on entrepreneurship from experienced and renowned techno entrepreneur and our own proud alumni arti vaishnav please ma'am Can you guys hear me, or do you want me to use the mic? Because I like to draw, and so the students should come in the. Yeah. Can you do me a favor and move to the front row? Yes. So that they can do more interaction. Yeah. Please go. Yeah. 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 ओके So I have given some printed material only. Yes. Okay. So um, I'm as they said I'm going to be coming back to G set for three days, today, tomorrow, and the after, and um, we'll try to think about business. I, all of you do engineering classes. You learn design, uh, drawing. You learn software architecture. but then you have to go out into the real world so i really really want this to be an interactive session where i can answer things that are on your mind i obviously put together the agenda for what i can teach you what experiences or what examples i can share with you but i really want to know what's on your mind so please let's make this next two three days interactive um and ask me questions okay that will make the lectures and the discussions a lot more meaningful now why should i stand here and talk what have what experiences can i bring to the table so just so that all of you are aware i think most of you must have read the exact case study <laughs> i started exact um 10 years or 13 years after i graduated and i did my masters in computer science and then i started the company back in 2013 so it's been 10 years today the revenue of the company is 150 crore rupees and what has helped what journey did we go through in the last 10 years to help take the revenue from literally 0 Two hundred and fifty crores. Like that journey is what I want to share with you. And as I was sitting there looking and reflecting on the ten-year path for Exact, I thought about my days in college, and that's why I called up a Vipul sir and I said, "Can I come to the college and can I share with the engineers what I wish I knew when I was back in engineering school? You know, the other jare engineering school mahat I would mostly focus on." A project, a great, a programming language, a SQL query, a like there you have a very different focus as engineers. But every once in a while, it helps to take a step back and think. Okay, the work that you are going to do is actually going to be part of somebody's business strategy. If you are learning, if you are starting your own business, then what are the kind of things you will think about? And then if you are working in somebody's business what you should know about the company you know there are some companies that have a boom and then they have a doom 
and some companies just keep growing year after year. What sets these companies apart? Why is one company able to make 10% profit and the other company is making 20% loss? What's really differentiating with these companies, um, etc. So those are the kind of things I want to make sure you guys get out of it. It can't be three days of lectures. You'll get I can talk, but you'll get really bored. So I am going to ask you to raise your hand, think about like what questions you want me to talk about, and then you. You have to do less talking. You just have to tell me the question and I'll do more of the talking. Okay. That's the deal. But I can't just keep talking if you don't ask me questions. So, um, so, okay. So I want, so is this clear? Like, is this clear why we are doing this? So that when you graduate and you go and you take up a job, you also know how to judge. Is this the company I want to work for? What is the chance that this company will, it's successful today, but what is the chance that this company will continue to be successful, right? Like you also have to be able to judge the company, judge your role, understand um, how it works, etc. I Not many years ago, I was in your shoes and I was sitting in these classrooms. We didn't have as fancy a facility at GSET as you guys have today. But yeah, I've, I've had the exact same journey as all of you did. Um, in fact, in the car, I was just saying, I was here from 1996 to 2000, doing exactly what you guys are studying, doing, studying, stressing about my midterms and finals and projects and everything. But that's a very different focus. And running a business is very different. So that's the, that's the journey I want to share with you. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. So you are all from Gujarat. Most of you are going to be from Gujarat. And Gujarat is known for entrepreneurship and for people to start their own businesses. We haven't in Gujarat been able to start as many IT startups as the rest of the world. But it's just a matter of time. I think the gift city and other places are just setting everyone up for success in there. So how do you define a business? So what is a business? And how do you define a business? I want to know from all of you. I'll tell you, I won't tell you the answer until I hear at least three versions of your answer. <laughs> what do you think is a business? What defines a business? What makes a business? What would you call a business? Yes. Maybe self employed. Okay, that's self employed, but you you still need something else for the business to work. What do you need for the business to work? You need investments, but you'll need the investment for what? To do profit. Okay, profit is an outcome. But why do you want to start a business in the first place? What, Anybody can have a business, but what is the mandatory thing that a business must have? For who? You are providing the product for who? Customer. Customer. So for anything that you do in business, the first thing that is important is customers. If you don't have a need, somebody said demand, somebody said need. If there is no need in the market, there is no need for that business, right? You have to set you set up a business to meet a specific need. Okay, so customers are one very important thing that you need in a business. What else do you need in a business? Type of service. You type need an ecosystem. You need type. type you need to decide what you are going to do. But who, who is going to build that? Manpower. Yeah. So the second must-have for any business is employees. Okay. How many of you already have your placements done and you have a job that you know that you're going to go to? Or this is third year, right? So maybe you don't have your jobs yet, but soon. 
when you are trying to get your job, first job, what is the most important thing on your mind? Money. <laughs> you want to get the highest pay, the highest package, salary, big money. Okay. So, we know that in order to do business, any business, whether you are selling shampoo or you're creating an IT software or you're making cars, no matter what business you're doing, you need customers and you need employees. But are customers and employees really thinking about the same things? See, an employee, you just told me, employee wants the highest salary. They want to get paid more. What does the customer want? They want service. But what when it comes to money, what do they want? They want to pay the least amount of money they can. Okay? So when you need two people to do business, you need customers and you need employees, but employees want to get paid more. Customers want to pay you less. How do you run a business? How do you incentivize people to run a business? Better service and better service and yeah. So this is let's say a customer is. Let's say a product is worth $10. The customer wants to pay the least amount possible. But if you keep discounting the cost for the customer, you won't have enough money to pay the employees good salary. If you can't pay the employees good salary, you'll see an employee turnover. They'll leave your company. They'll go work somewhere else. How do you make the product? If you charge too much for your product, your customers won't buy from you. So if you don't have paying customers, what are you going to do with amazing engineers in your team? So you're always trying to figure out how to balance this needs. So the way to define a, balance, a business is can you satisfy the need of the market but do it profitably, okay? If you can figure that out, then you have a business. And you, you think about customers and employees and what customer wants is different from what employees want. Okay, but now you add a third person to this. Owners or investors. What do the owners and investors want? They want highest profit. Okay. So what customers give you is called revenue. What you pay your employees is called cost. How do you define profit? Revenue minus cost. So now you 